Welcome back to Adelante. Well, it is estimated that in the U.S., approximately 90,000 people will be diagnosed with Parkinson's each year, with 1.5 million projected to be diagnosed by the year 2030. Think about that. The Parkinson's Foundation is bringing awareness of this disease, especially to the Latino community. And to help us understand some of this is Dr. Paulina Gonzalez Latapi. She's a movement disorder specialist with Northwestern Medicine. And then also with her right next to her there, Jennifer Fearday with the Parkinson's Foundation. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having, having us. us. Okay, so I want to start with the research and what the research tells us about the Latino community and Parkinson's. And I will address that question to you. Of course. So so, I mean, uh, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of research that specifically looks at the Hispanic population, Latino population, and Parkinson's disease. So really, the data that we have comes mostly from white, non-Hispanic populations. So that's why it's so important to us to really increase the knowledge, the awareness of this disease, mm -hmm. and to invite our community to learn more about it and to participate in research initiatives. There is one study that suggests that there's a higher prevalence in Hispanic population, but it's only one study, so we need more. We need to sure. really confirm that. But you've got to think that if it affects one community, the white community, let's say, it probably affects every other community uh, in, in our country, right? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. we, we know that Parkinson's disease affects the Hispanic community. We just need to understand better in, w in which ways it may be different from the white, non-Hispanic community. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll dig a little bit deeper into what Parkinson's is in a minute, but I want to bring in the Parkinson's Foundation and how you've been able to help. What role do you play in all of this? Absolutely. Uh, so part of our mission is to improving the lives of uh, those living with Parkinson's disease through education and, as Dr. Let, let that be mentioned, uh, through research. And we do this through partnerships with our centers of excellence like Northwestern Medicine, in which we provide uh, many health education programs uh, virtually and in person, um, as well as our slew mm -hmm. of resources that we have through the foundation, bilingual resources, I should say, um, that many uh, folks with Parkinson's yeah. disease can access both online, in person, and again, connecting them with resources that are available for them. Yeah. And I was looking through some of those resources. I mean, you've got everything from a podcast to like a coffee chat that people can join in and get information in Spanish, in their native language, which is so important. Absolutely. And that is one of the programs I do manage, um, our virtual educational program, Epe mm -hmm. Salud en Casa, which we have our counterpart in English. PD Health at Home, and it's fascinating because it's it, it gives us an access to mm -hmm. reach people at home at the comfort of, you know, just reaching them at all levels of Parkinson's disease, um, and just the most importantly is giving them that information in their native language, as well as um, giving them that, uh, you know, tools, hope to, yeah. to improve their care as well. Okay. All right. Um, I want to start by doing sort of like a brief explainer and a definition and a background on what Parkinson's is, because I think people sometimes hear some of these different diseases and they get very confused. And it's, it's, it's important to explain it to them. So I will let you kind of take that one and give us sort of the 30 second pitch on what is this disease all about? Of course, of course. So that's very important. What, what are we talking about? So Parkinson's disease is a disease that affects the brain. It's a progressive disease, so it can get worse over, over time, but it's slowly progressive. And what's important to know is that if detected at an earlier stage, there's actually things we can do about it, interven interventions we can put forth to help people who are diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. So there's something we can do about it. Early symptoms of Parkinson's disease can include tremor. So for example, people who have tremor, especially in the hands, difficulty walking, uh, some loss of smell, people who act out their dreams at night, so they're punching and kicking at night. All of it's those can be yeah. early symptoms of Parkinson's disease. So it's important to talk to a physician if someone is experiencing those symptoms. Okay, so what would be some of the testing that would have to be done to diagnose someone with Parkinson's? Yeah, that's an excellent question because uh, currently the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease is still mainly done by the clinical exam. So that means that it's really important to see a physician and a physician who is specializing mm -hmm. in neurology and ideally a movement disorder specialist, which is a type of neurologist that specializes in Parkinson's disease so that an accurate diagnosis can be made. Right now we don't have a blood test, we don't have an imaging test either. 
Okay, so that's what I'm hearing from you. No blood work can be done to say you've got Parkinson's or exactly. you've got something else. So you would have to have that face-to-face -face connection and conversation with people to diagnose them, which I think is where the problem comes in, right? Uh, with the Latino community, oftentimes they um, maybe don't go to the doctor as often as they we probably should um, or don't know the type of doctor to go to. Do, are you noticing that that's the case? Certainly, certainly. Mm -hmm. So first of all, there's a lack of knowledge of what Parkinson's disease is uh, many times uh, our community tends to go to the doctor once the disease has been very advanced. Progressed, yeah. Uh, and then there's also a, a lack of knowledge of who to, to see. And in this case, where can they find a neurologist? Where can they find a movement disorder specialist? And that's where the foundation certainly plays a big role in helping people connect yeah. with those specialists. So how is uh, Parkinson's Foundation able to help people connect them to the right doctor or the right specialist? That's a great question. Uh, so we have our amazing helpline team, again, bilingual, mm -hmm. uh, that it's open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., free of cost for anyone to call, which is the 1-800-4PD-INFO. And anyone can call this line for their Parkinson's disease-related questions. This is where we can connect them to our local partners, referrals to specialists. Um, and this is uh, the same helpline where they can also even access copies for uh, fact sheets, publications. Um, and if they want to know what local events mm -hmm. are happening related to Parkinson's disease, again, our helpline, 1-800-4PD-INFO, is such a useful tool uh, for anybody to get connected to local resources. Resources and just in general, national resources available. We're, we're seeing the website right there on the screen. There's also genetics testing that uh, is part of the research that Northwestern has been doing. Um, and that's sort of the average person, average Latino can be a part of that, yes? Correct. So at Northwestern, we actually have the Hispanic Movement Disorders mm -hmm. Clinic, where we also provide bilingual care, again, Spanish and English. And we offer the opportunity to join this research that is founded by the Parkinson's Foundation, where we're trying to understand which are the genetic changes that are associated with Parkinson's disease. And of course, all the testing is completely free. All right, great work that you're both doing. It is uh, great to have you here with us. Yeah, thank you for inviting us. All right, we'll talk here. again soon, and we will post the information on our Facebook page for Adelante Chicago as well.